Today we're going to be looking at working with FHIR healthcare data in Nexla. FHIR is a industry standard health data protocol for working with storing and exchanging healthcare data using the REST API format. So FHIR servers are very familiar in the healthcare industry as a way to uh, exchange and work with health data across companies across the industry and enable that kind of data exchange between uh, people who need it. Healthcare data can be patient, clinical, etc. The problem is the FHIR server standard was created for developers. And today, with healthcare co data coming from more and more places, more and more people need to work with that data easily and quickly. Nexla makes it really easy to work with FHIR data using our REST API connector. So today, let's look at how easy that is to do in Nexla and how that enables a very rapid and self-service, no low-code exchange of health data wherever you need it, even that if that's a spreadsheet, another API, a database, or a warehouse. At the end, we'll also look at how Nexla can create these FHIR APIs on the fly by exposing any FHIR formatted database as an API to whoever needs it. So what we're going to do first is access FHIR server data in a sample API. Today, I'm going to be using Happy Fire, which is an open source and free Fire server with sample data to work with and learn uh, to develop. So today, I'm going to be using their patient API, which is accessible with no authentication through this URL. So I'll just grab that. In Nexa, all I'll do is go to create new flow and go ahead and select the REST API connector. This makes it really easy to templatize and connect to any FHIR API simply by just inputting the credentials here. So all you need to do is put in the URL, any kind of authentication if needed, and save it. So let's look at my FHIR server test. As I mentioned, this API doesn't have any authentication, so I'll just put the URL there and just click Save. Netzel will now connect to that, authenticate, and we can click test here to see a few sample records and confirm, yes, this is patient data. We can already see here, we have some names as well as the health data below from the sample Happy Fire API. Here we can also configure further specific paths to the data. We can also chain APIs to, to re-input responses we get in the first step back to more FHIR APIs to get specific things out. But for today, let's look at the simple use case of just pulling this data out of any FHIR server. So I'll go ahead and click Create. And now what Netsa will do is look at all of the data it finds in this API and organize it into a data product that we call a net set. So it's already done doing that. And now this data product is what really unlocks quickly and easily working with this data getting it in the format and transformation and sliced, filtered subset you might need and send it to any destination you can think of. So I'll go ahead and name this just for this demo, fire server data. And first let's look at transforming and slicing this data. So I can go ahead and click transform. And now we can apply any prepackaged transformation that comes with Netza. For example, we can see this API is very nested in entry resource. Then we have this metadata and name array. That still makes it easier, easy either when we added the API to pull out that path, or we can go ahead and work with this array by extracting different elements, pulling those out, even hashing any sensitive information uh, for this new net set that we might need. So we have an MD5 hash there and as well as other transformations, including IP address, uh, mathematical, etc. So for today, I'm just going to directly replicate, but it's easy otherwise to select those, extract, and simply apply these transformations. So I'll click that, replicate as is. Here we can also input validations. And for data engineers, we can input custom code uh, transformations for advanced or custom operations. Otherwise, this makes transformation very easy and self-service for non-technical people. I'll go ahead and click Save there. We'll create a new data set. Let's just say this is sliced, 
transformed and hashed, ready to share. Uh, maybe we remove some sensitive patient information from it and we have exactly what we need for our use case now. Now in Netslet, it's easy to send this anywhere I need. So all I need to do is take this Netset, click send to destination. If I want to share it within my organization, I can go ahead and take this Netset or the upstream one and share with whoever needs to work with it in the organization who also has access to Netsla. Otherwise, all I need to do is click send to destination and send it wherever I need to work with. So this might be a database, like a SQL database. It could be a warehouse, like Snowflake, uh, or it could be even streaming, such as Google PubSub, if you need real-time updates and new patient information as it comes in. We can also connect to spreadsheets here to make the data really easy and workable, as well as any data lakes, etc. So today, why don't I go ahead and just select a data warehouse. Maybe this is a central patient database uh, that I need externally shared fire server data into. Go ahead and click that, add any credentials, similar thing. Go ahead to connect to it, and maybe I already have a table, or maybe I need to create a new table here. That's fire, and we'll have all of our attributes once we pull those out and extracted them. Otherwise, uh, we have this one array. And just like that, data will begin flowing through this to the warehouse. So you can see how quickly and easily I can do this myself, work with it, and unblock myself to work with this data and get it where I need quickly, easily, and safely. The last thing here, of course, is the opposite flow, which is exposing data uh, as an API for sharing. So you can see any eligible next set, once you go into it, has a data feed API button here. So all you need to do is simply click that button, and that will generate an API hosted on our servers for sharing with anyone. So we see here, here it is with a hidden API key. And this is already ready to share with whoever needs it, uh, whether that's internal or external. So this is really useful if you have a database, you need to quickly turn it into a fire server to share externally uh, with anyone. So we have a SQL database here. Once you have that next set, simply click the data feed API. And now you have a data feed API to share with whoever needs it on the fly as quickly as that. So you, I hope you can see how quickly and easily it is to self-serve this Fire Data uh, connection, integration, and transformation using Nexa. And this really enables Fire to be that health data exchange between and across companies and organizations as it was first imagined. Now it's easy to do that for everyone, not just developers. And developers are enabled to uh, do custom code and advanced operations without worrying about this straightforward data connection. Thanks for watching. And if you're interested in a demo or free trial, please reach out to us and we can talk about your specific use case.